As Tamir drove his caravan north, he came across the Saracen leader and his starving men. Most fortunate for them both, each having something the other wanted. Some say, were it not for Tamir, Salahadin's men would have surely turned on him. Could be we won the battle because of that man. to know quite a bit about Tamir. Tell me what he's planning. I know only the stories I tell, nothing more. A pity. There's no reason to let you live if you've nothing to offer in return. Wait, wait! There is one thing. Continue. He is preoccupied as of late. He oversees the production of many, many weapons. What of it? They're meant for Salah ad -Din. This does not help me, which means it does not help you. No, stop, listen! Not Salaheddin. They're for someone else. The crests these arms bear, they are different, unfamiliar. It seems Tamir supports another, but I know not who. Is that all? Yes, yes. I've told you everything I know. Then it's time for you to rest. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you are looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. You dare steal in my presence? That will cost you your life! Dare to steal. I'll have your hand for that! Die, thief! <laughs> He has hand. found the strength <laughs> to stand in defense of our what great is he doing? civilization. Make no mistake, it is our very existence we are fighting for. <laughs> sent you, eh? An interesting choice, though not my place to judge. The Rafiq has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you.
Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the Mass? A man named Tamir. Al-Mualim takes issue with the work he does. I am meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor, and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. forwarding memory to a more recent one. Come to me. Coins, please. Coins. All I ask is for Find a few squares coins. in all the land. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. Please, can't you spare something? I'm I've poor got what and you need. I'm hungry. sure of it. Take a look. Something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. Got your eye? I need food. Ah, you've come to I'm the so right hungry. place. There's no Just a little better merchant than I. Better than I. Better finding anything useful anything at the other like? No, you don't understand. I have here. nothing. I am at your service. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins. <laughs> Please, sir, have any money? Could you spare a few coins? Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. Please, sir, have any money? A few coins. All I ask is for a few coins. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. Could I interest my you family in some of my is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? You are wise, which is why you've come to me. All I ask is for a few coins. I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. If you please. just have a look. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have 
failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination. It is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you. And you say I ask too much? <coughs> you dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, stop. You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me. <laughs> No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece, a man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. <laughs> 